Hi, my name is Dr. Johnston. Today we're going to discuss the difference between wrist tendonitis and carpal tunnel. These two ailments have very similar symptoms. In fact, there's only one difference between the two in regards to how you feel the symptoms, but they are very different. So today I'm going to describe to you these two ailments, their differences, and how you can beat them. Overuse of the muscle means overuse of the tendons. These tendons slide through grooves called tendon sheaths, and as they slide back and forth through repetitive motions, they can cause micro tearing or trauma. This micro tearing or trauma can be caused by many different repetitive motions. Someone might be a typist, someone might text too much, someone might play tennis. All these repetitive motions can cause that micro trauma. The tighter the muscle, the more friction is caused on those tendon sheaths and through the tendon itself. Wrist tendonitis has the following symptoms. Forearm and or wrist pain, decreased range of motion, sharp and or shooting pain, chronic ache and feeling of tightness, and loss of hand strength. Here's a percussion test that you can do to see if you have wrist tendonitis. Take your forearm and tap. If you find that you've got pain, go all the way up and down. If you find that it reproduces the pain, then you might have wrist tendonitis. Also do it on the, the forearm, the front, the wrist extensors. Tapping up and down. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a wrist and hand pain syndrome. There are times where you will, with carpal tunnel, get pain into the forearm, but mainly the one big difference between wrist tendonitis and carpal tunnel is numbness and tingling into the palm. This is the major difference that you can know whether you've got wrist tendonitis or carpal tunnel. So there are several tests that you can perform just like with the wrist tendonitis test to see if you've got carpal tunnel. The first is called the Phalen's test. So what you do is you have your arm, you stick it straight out, and then gently you'll bring the wrist and the fingers down and you'll hold that position for one minute. If you have numbness and tingling or increased pain after holding that in that position for one minute, you might have carpal tunnel syndrome. The second test is called Tunnel sign. What you do is you take your wrist, then you tap above and below, forwards and backwards, all around, finding to see if you have shooting pain, numbness and tingling, or pins and needles. If you have that pins and needles type feeling, that's the primary one, then you might have carpal tunnel. The third test is Durkin's test. What you do is you take your wrist, you take your opposite thumb, and you press. You hold it for 30 seconds. You don't have to give a lot of pressure, but give it good, just firm pressure, holding for 30 seconds. Release and relax for a minute, then come back and give pressure again, holding it for another 30 seconds. You can go above or below the wrist crease. If you have that shooting pain, numbness and tingling, pins and needles, again, you might have carpal tunnel. Below is the name of a website that I recommend that you go to to buy this apparatus to help you decrease the amount of tightness in your forearm and your wrist extensors. This little mechanism can really help defeat wrist tendonitis. The first stretch involves the patient taking their hand, putting it firmly against the wall, then turning their hand upside down, then taking their neck and then turning it towards the opposite side. This puts a stretch on all the nerves running through the neck all the way down to the hand and also puts an opposite stretch on the extensors of the wrist. Next, the patient can take their arm, put it straight out in front of them, put their palm face down, take their opposite hand, grab their thumb, and pull towards them. This puts a great stretch on the patient's forearm. If you or someone you know is suffering with this type of pain that goes from the wrist of the hand or forearm pain, wrist tendonitis, or carpal tunnel, tell them to give us a call at Relief Plus. My name is Dr. Sean Johnston, and I would love the chance to be able to treat you and help you. Our number is 
4200. That is 565-4200, and you can find us at myreliefplus.com.